What up, buckaroo? Oh, oh he's like, what, what, what? Yeah, I can do it right back at you. <laughs> Just mess around. Yo, what a nice day out here in Orange Beach. We're gonna do some fishing, so we gotta get the boat launched and uh, head out there, have some live bait, and get ready to go. It's very pretty, nice day. I'm glad that you can join me. Y'all come get on the boat with me. We got it launched and ready to go. It's a nice invincible. I've been on one just like that. But I came under the bridge and gonna drop a shrimp down on a drop shot rig. See how side scan is pretty cool? You can see the bridge pilings next to me. Now, when fishing under the bridge, you wanna make it sure it's pertinent that you're not fishing in the channel or blocking the channel. You have a channel there, this empty spot and then the channel over there so you can get a pretty hefty ticket from the marine police they're very serious about that if you're fishing in the channel but you're good right here to fish like where i'm at just to save you some trouble in case you are fishing out here we have a gorgeous live well full of shrimp look at those healthy jokers get the shrimp on the drop shot rig strong incoming tide now picking up getting a bite oh that was a good bite that might have been the bite i need it is yo instant over at the bridge just hooked up that was pretty dang cool don't want him to go in the structure whatever this is going to be i have a feeling it's a sheepshead or a redfish Oh man, how incredible. Oh, it's a nice sheep's head. Yeah, buddy. We have dinner. We can get it in the net. <laughs> Boom, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yes. Look at the star of the show. That's a nice one. That was so cool. I kind of, as soon as I dropped that bait down, I felt that hit, set the hook, and we were on. How incredible. Let's throw the sheep's head in the cooler. If you're unfamiliar, there are a few sheep's head around the country. This one's the sheep's head. <laughs> that is a saltwater fish in the porgy family and it's very good to eat. They only have to be 12 inches fork length in Alabama and you're allowed 10. Throw them in the cooler. I'm using a one ounce bank sinker on this in 30 feet of water with an incoming tide. And you can get these at Bird of Prey Tackle. Use code BAMA10, save you some money on weights. Best prices I've found. Yo, yeah, that was awesome. So I like this setup. My absolute favorite sheep's head hook of all time. It's this two wall owner SSW cutting point hook. It's an octopus hook, perfect to get past their big teeth and hook some majority of the time. Got another nice little shrimp. See what we can do. That was incredible. Oh, there's a hit. Yep. <laughs> got them this is why i love this type of fishing they fight so hard oh man he's going to get me stuck in that current in that bridge piling i think if i can get him out of there oh doesn't sound good at all mm -mm. he's going to take me in there if i can get him out i think i have i think i got him out Come here. Dang, that might be something a little bit bigger than a sheepy. That could be a big old bull red. Fighting a little, a little bit harder than I thought it was going to. Oh, I just saw it. What are you? Mm, you're big. Oh, it's a big red. Wow. Big old red fish. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Look how pretty it is. See if I can get you in the boat, man. How incredible. How incredible. Ah, come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't want to lose you. Oh, we got you. Yeah, that was cool. 
Mm, big red. That's a 28 inch red. I want to let this one go. It's over slot. You're allowed one over slot here in the state of Alabama, but we're going to let this one go get healthy and maybe become one of the bigger bulls one day. What a beautiful fish though. <laughs> there you go, man. Back down to 30 feet. That one fought me pretty hard. I got to check the leader. You're allowed one over slot fish here in Alabama out of your three. So if you catch three red fish and one of them's over slot, that's your limit right there. Let me check this leader. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to tie another one. This is 30 pound fluorocarbon and it is shaped up bad. I'm surprised it didn't break me off. Let's tie up another leader and get another bait out. So this is what I like using for leader material, Yoziri HD fluorocarbon. There's a lot of different fluorocarbons out there. I found that Yoziri is very affordable compared to like the Seaguars and stuff, but mainly I buy it because it fits in my tackle box instead of having a giant leader spool. This is 30 yards a liter and it's fit in my box. So this is 30 pound, like about an arm's length. You wanna give yourself enough room and then tie a little dropper loop in the middle. I use my mouth usually, but we'll try it without it. Like about three, four, five loops. There's a lot of information you can find online how to tie a dropper loop set up. There we go, I had to use my mouth to pull that one through. And I'll take your swivel, which is connected to my braid. That's the only thing connected to the fishing line. And tie the top part of your rig. I'll leave about a foot from my dropper loop to the swivel because it saves you in these scenarios such as that last fish. Because if I only had a little bit, it would have cut me off. And then pretty much another foot from my dropper loop, I come down and just tie a perfection loop. So that loop you tied in the bottom, take you a bank sinker and you can get these from Bird of Prey Fishing Tackle. So put that dropper loop through your hook, which I'm taking some braid because these hook eyes are kind of small and the brake and you want to go into the hook eye from the front just like that because it allows it to curve same thing on your circle hooks and pompano rigs you go through the front bring it around and now you have a perfectly tied up dropper loop ready to go back down again oh sailboats going out they do a lot of dolphin cruises and stuff which is cool because there's plenty of dolphin out there now that we're tied back up again, that was a task in itself because the wind was just blowing everything around. Trolling motor was moving around. For you to have spot lock anchor, they require satellite. And what blocks satellite? Concrete. <laughs> so you have to kind of be on the edge of the bridge and then you have the current and the wind just makes it extremely difficult. You know, I love sharing these experiences with all of y'all. Oh, you're a big fish. You're a big one. Oh, God. That's a good one. Come to the front of the boat and stay away from those pilings. Uh oh. Mm. Wow, how incredible. This sucker is pulling hard. That might be another redfish. It's pulling the boat. <laughs> I gotta bring it up from 30 feet deep, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have that current, the fish fighting, and the structure, that is not good. Oh, there it is. Oh, another big red. Another nice red fish. Wow. It's another overslot red. Can we get you in the net? I think we can. <laughs> you pulled the boat, redfish. You pulled the boat. That's a strong fish to pull a whole boat. Uh oh. Okay, we got her. Ooh, that's a challenge there too. This one's a different fish because the spots are different. That one's got a perfect spot on it. Hooks out, my leader's good. I'm excited about that. There's another nice red. How awesome is that? Pretty wintertime redfish. There you go. Oh man, they fight so hard. 
That's fun. Some big fish biting today. This shrimp volunteered himself. <laughs> when you ask, do you need a volunteer? And someone says, for what? Well, they're the ones that just volunteered themselves. And that's what this shrimp did. If you know, you know. Guess we're gonna try this again. <laughs> that's fun. All right. What are you gonna be? Feels pretty good. Not quite sure what species of fish it'll be. Oh, it's just a really large pinfish or pigfish, one of the two. Oh no, it's pigfish, which is a grunt. Those are actually good eating too, with no limits on them. I think they're real pretty. See why they call them grunts or pigfish? <laughs> but he's gonna go back. I think those are cool though. Might be time to put on the old mossy oak hoodie. Yep. Okay. This one might be another pig fish. It kind of feels like that. But you really don't ever know what you're going to pull up out here. Let's see what you are. It is. Another big old grunt. <laughs> These would actually be pretty good table fare as well. Look at that. All that orange and blue stripes. That's what your, uh, a lot of your slow pitch jigs and stuff try to imitate that color. That's why you see a lot of zebra stripes and dots and oranges and blues in your jigs and other lures. That bite feels pretty good. Yeah, feels really good. Cool. Came out to the jetties and actually hooked something that's pulling. All right, man. I see you. You look pretty shiny down there. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a bluefish. Don't cut me off, please. <laughs> they have some serious teeth on them, these bluefish do. You got to really watch out for their teeth. They have some munchers on them, even though they look just like a bass. So these are bluefish. There's no regulations on them here in the state of Alabama. But I don't know if you can see those teeth or not. But we're gonna bleed them out, throw them in the cooler. So it's time for me to go. And there's another reason why I put the loop down there. It allows you to secure your whole rig because drop shot rigs are usually annoying to try to secure on your rod while you're moving spot to spot or traveling. So I put a loop on there and just wrap it around the handle. But it's time for me to head back to the boat ramp. Boom. We're good. Y'all, I appreciate you for watching. That was a fun trip out there. But fishing in the past is fun, and I'm glad they were chewing. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, I love seeing the channel grow. Go smash that subscribe button down below. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, y'all. So we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. As always, and most importantly, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we will see you later.